Well, yeah, guys, we've seen storm damage, street flooding, down power lines, as we've been talking about. And these images are coming in from all over the area, so you can see just how widespread the damage is. Let's start with those downed trees. The storm toppled a tree into a drainage canal here in Booty. And then you can see this large tree broke off at the trunk and landed across the street in the Elmwood area. We've seen lots of trees like that. And we've also seen photos of downed power lines. These are here at West Esplanade and Loyola. But fortunately, all of the warnings we gave this morning about getting to a safe place did hit home for Luke Garris. Here's a shot of his family taking cover with their battery powered essentials. And our own Karen Swenson snapped this photo of flooding at the West Bank Expressway in Lafayette when she was out storm chasing this morning. All right, and you know the flooding is bad when the storm drains are so full, the water floats the drain cover off and right into the street. And the day also not a good day for trampolines. They didn't fare very well this morning. We got a picture of one that blew on top of a fence and then another one that rolled into a neighbor's yard. Now, of course, you can see how easily this could happen when you take a look at this video shot by our sports producer, Danny Rockwell. Lots of wind and rain there, almost looking tropical. Tan. And I'm Natalie Shepard. Well, today's severe weather and flooding caused Governor Bobby Jindal to declare a state of emergency. And while it has been a rough day of weather across southeast Louisiana, we're not out of the woods yet. We'll talk to you then. Thanks, Carl. Well, Jefferson Parish was hit hard during today's severe weather threat. The wind was so strong in Elmwood that it blew several railroad cars off the QEP Long Bridge. Now, Bill Capo has been following the story all day and joins us now live with more. Bill? All right, Meg, thank you. And today's storms caused major power outages across the metro area, and some residents are still in the dark this evening. Right now, 22,000 people are without power in Jefferson and 11,000 in Orleans Parish. Energy crews are working on the problem, but no word yet on when power will be fully restored. Well, in a special investigation tonight at 10, investigative reporter Mike Perlstein reveals documents that show how city officials knew about the current NOPD manpower problem years ago and they were warned before it became a full blown, blown crisis. Uh, Mike joins us now. So how did you uncover the roots of what's become a very serious problem here in the city? Well, Natalie, through a public record request, we got months of emails covering a couple year period in which Surpass, the police chief at the time, Ronald Surpass, first urged city leaders to start hiring cops. And when he did not get those hires, he gave dire consequences of what would happen. Now, did your research reveal that these emails showed tension between Surpass and Mayor Mitchlandro? Well, you know, once uh, the chief was shut down and shut down repeatedly, uh, you know, he started sending more and more dire warnings. He was uh, once again shut down repeatedly to the point where uh, he almost stopped trying. And we can now see what eventually happened. Surpass has left the administration to go teach at Loyola University and the city's basically on a whole new path under a new police chief. All right, interesting stuff. Looking forward to it. And you can catch Mike's story tonight on Eyewitness News at 10. While the North Shore didn't see quite as much dramatic damage during this morning's storms, there were plenty of people affected by downed trees. North Shore Bureau Chief Ashley Rodrigue has the story from Tangipahoe Parish. And Carl's back with one final check on the forecast. What are we looking at tonight?